I really don't know how to explain this. I, I wasn't going to make a new video tonight, but I had to tell you guys this. This isn't a story. This legit fucking happened. I'm a big fan of GTA 5. I mean, I lost interest for a while, but I recently rekindled that interest when I played with my friend Alex. I had used millions of different characters in the past, but finally stuck with my fairly new female character who I spent hours making. Everyone says she looks beautiful, but before you, you know, think this, no, it's not the person you see on the screen. I named her Elizabeth after my story character. She's only a level 28 though. For the last few nights, me and my friend Alex would play GTA Online until he had to go, leaving me alone online. Tonight I was alone online altogether. Frankly, I got bored of doing missions and robbing stores, etc, etc. So I spent some time at the strip club and got the numbers of Sapphire and Cheetah. After that, I started to drive home. It was night in the game, and I had a far drive ahead of me because I lived in that house that was all the way at the top of the map in Blaine County. During the drive, I went on my phone and googled how to make your character topless. It's a glitch in GTA. I eventually gave up though and just kept driving on the road up the hill. I saw a big white house in the distance. The house had a fence and a little farm-like area with a scarecrow. I hit the brakes and skidded, crashing through the fence. I got out of the car because something about this new house intrigued me. I'm a horror fanatic and I love finding the dark side of games, and GTA has a lot of dark easter eggs, like the Infinity Killer easter egg, the Charles Manson easter egg, etc, etc. Something about this house had a very creepy feel, so I took a look around. The house had outside stairs that led to nowhere. Yet, I tried to break in from the front door because in events prior to this one, I managed to break into a mysterious house as a glitch. But sadly, the glitch did not work on this house, so the door did not break down to a weird rabbit hole. I returned to the back of the house where the farm was with the scarecrow and my crashed car. When I saw my car, I stopped in my tracks. Standing in front of my car was... a player? I hit down on the d-pad, but no name came up over them. Was this some weird NPC? The strange character was wearing black shoes, black pants, black gloves, and even a black hoodie. The hoodie was covering their head completely. They were wearing a hockey mask and they were holding a machete. The fuck? Were they trying to rip off Jason Voorhees or something? I thought to myself. The figure turned slightly to completely face me. That's the only move it made. I tried shooting it with my revolver, but nothing happened. I didn't dare approach it. I hit down on the d-pad again and looked at the player list. And there it was. But the name was just six question marks. Suddenly the character cocked its head at me and waved very slowly. I was in first person mode and quickly changed camera because that was creeping me out. I got chills. Suddenly, the figure sent me a text message in the game. They texted me my address. Then they texted me again with one word. Midnight. This made me turn pale. Suddenly the character disappeared. It then reappeared behind me and swung its machete into my character and my character flew into the car slamming her body hard with a loud thump. My character fell on her face and the figure walked over, grabbed my character's head, opened the car door, put her head inside the car, and right as the person swung the door shut, the screen blacked out. After a few seconds, the screen turned back on. The figure was gone, and my character was left dead with the car door shut and blood dripping from the car door. The wasted side didn't come up. The game just kept playing, and cars passed by, and everything played as if nothing happened. I stared at my dead character, shitting myself. Then the Xbox shut off. I don't know what to make of this. I, I don't know what it meant by sending my address to me and then saying midnight. What do you guys think I should do? Leave your answer in the comments. I'll take any suggestions.